My name is Rex Proctor. I'm the development manager here at Sports Tech. In this screencast today, we're going to cover off activating Sports Tech Game Breaker on your iPad. If you've downloaded it from the App Store, it may be called Sports Tech GB. We had to shorten the name to make sure that it would fit below the icon. Otherwise, it cuts it off in the middle and reads a little funny. So, this screencast is intended for users that have Sports Tech Game Breaker. If you don't, your product will be limited because Sports Tech GB is an extension of Sports Tech Game Breaker for Mac OS X. So if you want, you're going to need to get in contact with someone and get Sports Tech Game Breaker so that you can activate it and unlock all of the features found on the iPad. Now what you'll get when you unlock it is a full form. So if you're familiar with Coda or Sports Tech Game Breaker or Sports Code, you get a code input form that you can use and add buttons and code and so on. It also unlocks the limit of rows that can be created. You can export your doc movies to standalone and you can use the command center to upload and download projects, forms, or other uh, whiteboards and XMLs and so on so you can import data into Sports Tech GB. So it's really worthwhile getting Sports Tech Game Breaker and getting that activation so you can unlock and use all of those features coupled with Sports Tech Game Breaker. All right, so let's take a look at how we do this activation. In order to get my Game Breaker ID, I need to tap on the clip at the top of the clipboard here. So I'm going to tap right in the center and you'll see the About box pop up and you'll see the Game Breaker ID there. Now we need the ID for manual activation or remote activation. So let's tap and hold on it and then choose copy. We'll dismiss the about box. I'm going to flip over to mail and I'll create a new mail, sending it to myself. Give it a little bit of a subject. and then tap and hold in there, let go, and paste that and send it. So getting the Game Breaker ID is quite easy. It works the same for Coda also. Now that I have my Game Breaker ID in my mail, I went and copied that so that I can paste it into the command center and remotely activate my Sports Tech GB on my iPad. So I've launched Sports Tech Game Breaker on my Mac, and I'm going to jump into the command center, and I'll select one of my available activations and I'll paste that Game Breaker ID in there. Now I'm always going to add a comment. Makes it easier to track when uh, you need to go back and figure out where all your activations went to. So I highly recommend being rather descriptive about uh, where the activation went to. You can use the device name, of course. We're going to grab the device name. Um, during the process of using Sports Tech GB when it talks back to our server. Uh, but sometimes people name things, uh, they just call it iPad, and they might have five things called iPad. So it's very difficult to tell. So I strongly suggest that you uniquely name your iPad and make sure you add some comments when you activate it this way. So let's go ahead and activate it. And now the next time that I launch Sports Tech GB on my iPad, it's going to be fully activated. So I'll do that. And yes, it's been activated successfully, as I can see on my iPad. Now, let's go ahead and deactivate that. Now when you deactivate, make sure that you double tap and kill the app so the next time it launches, it will be properly fully deactivated. It'll collect uh, the deactivation eventually anyway, but if you're trying to move stuff around, you may want to make sure that that's been properly deactivated. Okay, now let's show you how to activate via Wi-Fi. Now make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is uh, connected to the internet so it can reach our registration servers. I'm going to select Galapad here and I'll activate it right through here and you'll see that it says unknown device. Now the next time that I quit Sports Tech GB and relaunch, the server will get that name of it and it will populate it with the name, making it a little bit easier. So if I'll just show you that, I'll quit out of Sports Tech GB and I'll quit out of the iPad app. 
and I'll relaunch. And now you can see that it's actually grabbed the name. So that's how you activate and deactivate using the two methods. Thank you.